I make these walking sticks and staffs out of hedge wood. This is uh, something that's real common here in uh, Kansas. It's called also called Osage Orange, and uh, they call them all kind of other different things. Hedge, hedge apple. Um, you know, I think the official name is Osage Orange. Back home in Louisiana, they call this Bodark. And apparently, the Indians would make bows from the from the wood. But uh, one of the characteristics is extremely hard, and it's got a really, really interesting heart. I'm not sure if you can see this, but the heart is kind of a, I don't know, yellowish, orangish kind of a tint. And once you get down through the layers of the bark and the, the uh, secondary layer to the heart, the heart is just hard as all get out. I mean, it is probably the, some of the hardest wood you'll ever find. And um, it makes really, really nice uh, walking staffs. Now, the first process that you have to do is strip the bark. And uh, basically, the tool you use to do these, do that is these old draw knives. Sometimes you'll get a knot that won't be, you can't draw it out with a draw knife, so you just have to chop it out. You can kind of see some of the, the heartwood peeking through and where these knots are. You just gotta kind of get down to it. I've got, most, I've got most of the, the bark off. Still got a little bit of work to do, but I'm just, right now, I'm just kind of finishing off the end. Kind of taper it down. It's hard to draw, use the draw knife on the ends. Sure if you can see this, hopefully you can, but I've got the basic shape smoothed out. You know, a couple of vicious knots right here, and then one right here that took quite a bit of work, but um, I got them smoothed out pretty nice. I mean, I like the, the character of it, even though it's twisted, it's still, you know, pretty straight overall. Finished, uh, finished with my stick. I'm really happy with the way it turned out. Um, hopefully you can see this and you can kind of see the detail. It's just amazing, you know, the, the, the detail that comes out when you sand the wood and you, when you burn it. It's really pretty. And it's just, you know, smooth as glass. The wood is so hard. Um, that the more you sand it, the smoother it gets, which is pretty amazing. I hope you can see that. It's really beautiful. And I make great walking sticks. This one is, you know, it's crooked, but it's, you know, relatively straight, you know, from uh, head to toe, which is kind of what you're looking for in a walking stick. You know, and the, um, the knots kind of give it character. Um, which is kind of cool. So I hope you enjoyed the video. And the, you know, basically the last thing I like to do, and I've already put a few coats on it, but I put beeswax 
um, this Burt's Bees hand salve. I rub it in. I probably put eight or ten coats on, and you know, and just rub it in real good, and it kind of helps bring out the shine. And it also, you know, I suspect it helps keep the wood from cracking more. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video, and we'll uh, see what kind of adventure we can come up with next. So. See y'all next time.